In the last couple of years, I've written every possible legal trail in Vienna or around Vienna. And in this video, I will show you which are my top five favorite trails that I love to ride every single year. Since I love to ride flow trails, technical trails, and bike park style trails, this ranking will contain all of these types. At the position number five, the Weidlingbach Fun Line. This is a bike park style line that I highly recommend. It contains every single element for training your riding style. A small drop at the beginning, a great amount of double jumps and tables of different sides, many bams of different length and types, and finally also normal flat turns. It's definitely a flow trail without any kind of steep section or technical part, but mastering this line could be challenging if you want to achieve always a faster time. And also if you don't, it will deliver plenty of fun every time. <laughs> it's also completely free, maintained every year by the Wienerwald Trails Association. At the position number 4, the Wurzel Trail. I understand that a lot of people won't agree on this one, but this is one of the hottest technical trails you can actually ride. The only reason why it's out of the podium is because it's too short. As the German name suggests, this trail is basically a sequence of steep sections with an endless amount of routes to ride, where you can challenge your bike control and actually if the tuning of your suspension is correct. Definitely a must to ride. One tip, after the first cross, I would suggest to take back the appeal since the second part of the trail has nothing to do with the first one. At the position number three, the Southern Temple Trail. Located in Anninger, this is probably the most technical legal trail you can ride. There are different lines and options, with the first part that contains really challenging steep yeah. sections for different skill levels. In the second part, you can choose between the red and the black line. In both cases, overall the ground is narrow with moderate steepness, and some sections are also more tricky because there are some rocky step downs where you have to be careful. At the position number two, the Sutti Roller Trail. This is probably the trail that I've ridden the most. The first part of this trail this year is still not open due to the walks in the forest. In the past, it was very flow and nice. A lot of flat turns and overall not steep and technical. Some parts require anyway attention. In general, you will find also few little jumps. But probably from this year, the first part will be completely different. Who knows? The second part is also very flow, but the shape of the ground is a bit different, especially at the very beginning. Every next turn is different from the previous one, and this makes this long flow trail a good choice every time you decided to ride it. The third part is the most different one, because after a steeper section on a very regular ground, you will have a straight, fast final section a bit difficult to ride with also some exposure on the left. Then, at the very end, you can choose to do the final two turns or prove yourself with the steep wall going straight. At the position number one, the Kenda Line. Located in the Trail Center Wind, riding completely this trail was one of my achievements of the last year. This is in my eyes the best line Vienna could offer. A bike park line with nice and different berms and a lot of jumps and features where you can prove and improve your skills. In particular, some features in the middle section and the very last part that consists in a drop, three jumps with cap and a table jump require definitely a proper training. Since we are talking about a city bike park, to ride this one you have to pay the entrance. Then you can choose to go up with your legs, at or not by an electric motor, or pay the lift or the shuttle, depending on what's offered in the moment. I want to remind you that all the raw video of the trails that I ride are also in my channel categorized by location, so that you can easily check where they are. I hope you will find my tips useful, and if you are a rider of this area, I would like also to know if you have other trails that you prefer to ride compared to my top 5 list. In the meantime, have fun and see you on the trails!